Sitaram, 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 Jay Sitaram, 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 Jay Sitaram, Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram, Patita Pavan Sitaram. Sitaram, 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 Jay Sitaram. Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram, Patita Pavan Sitaram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Nitai Gaur Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Gaur Hari Bol, Jaya Jaya Prabhupada, 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 Jaya Jaya Prabhupada. Boli Hari Nam Sankirtan Yaga Ki Jai, Sri Ram Nomi Maha Maho Sao Ki Jai, Gaur Pe Manandi Hari Hari Bol. So, happy Sri Ram Nomi to all of you. And uh, today I am going to read the Sri Mad, uh, sorry, uh, Srila Prabhupada has given class in Hawaii, March uh, um, 27, 1969, on the very special occasion of Sri Ram Nomi. So we can enjoy by reading this class. So Sri Prabhupada is chanting and then he started the lecture from Rama Adi Murti Sukalani Amena Tishtan Nana Avataram Karodu Ganeshu Kintu Krishna Swayam Sambhavat Paramapu Manayo Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami this verse is from Sri Brahma Samhita, for chapter 5, verse number 39. So this is a verse from Brahma Samhita in which the incarnation of Lord Ramachandra is described. Ramadi means Lord Ramachandra and other incarnation. Not only Rama, but there are many other innumerable incarnations they are compared with the waves of a river as the waves of river or the waves of the ocean cannot be counted and it is not possible so similarly how many incarnations there are there of the supreme lord it is not possible to count but out of them, the principal names are mentioned in the Sastra. So there are innumerable number of incarnations, but some principal incarnations are mentioned in the Sastra, the name of the. Therefore, it is said Ramadi. Ramadi means Ram and so other many incarnations and they are existing not that one incarnation appeared and it is finished no not like that just like lord ramachandra appeared on this planet say millions of years before he appeared in the treta yuga Treta Yuga means we have passed only 5,000 years of this Kali Yuga. Before that, 
देर वॉज द्वापर युगा द्वापर युगा मीन्स ऑलमोस्ट एट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड्स ईयर्स एंड बिफोर दैट देर वॉज त्रेता युगा विच काउंटेड टू बी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर्स दैट मीन्स एट लीस्ट टू मिलियन ईयर्स बिफोर लॉर्ड रामचंद्र अपीयर्ड ऑन दिस प्लानिट so now lord ramachandra appeared in ayodhya there is a place in ayodhya in northern india there he appeared as krishna appeared in mathura that is also in northern india and mathura is about 90 miles down south from new delhi now so you have heard the name of new delhi the capital of india so ayodhya is also situated about 500 miles northeast northeast of new delhi so lord ramachandra appeared on this day today is called shri ram navmi on the ninth day of the moon Lord Ramachandra appeared. His father was the king of Ayodhya, and he had three wives. So out of no, he had two wives. So out of two wives, he got four sons. Ramachandra is the eldest son. the life and activities of lord ramachandra is in a book which is called ramayana so you have heard the name of ramayana ramayana is also accepted as history vedic literature or histories also the puranas the shrimad bhagavat mahabharat and ramayana they are counted among the history the history of ramachandra is that his father wanted to retire dasrath maharaj um, and he decided to enthrone lord ramachandra and retire so everything was settled but just one day before his youngest wife turned the whole things into different way sometimes maharaj dasrath was suffering from what is called will white low some trouble in the finger and this queen served him very nicely and he was pleased and he said my dear sarmistha if you want some benedictions from me i can give you and she replied that i shall ask you for the benedictions when i require it so she was waiting for the in other words she forgot but her uh, maid servant she made reminded her to no you have the booms and you have two booms and you can ask so she was um that's what sril prabhupad is giving here the history and she replied that i shall ask you for the benediction when i require it not now so just one day before lord ramachandra coronations she approached her husband maharaj dasrath and reminded him my dear husband you promised to give me some benediction and i told you that i shall ask you when i require it maharaj dasra said yes and i remember you want some benediction just now she said yes and what is that she said that ramachandra cannot be seated on the throne 
my son should be coronated bharat he was surprised it is a big demand so he said all right that will be done your son because formally the king not only formally even up to date there are many chatriyas king in india they have more than one wife and they are naturally there is rivalry between different wives so the same thing human psychology is the same even 2 million years before the same mentality was there and she asked that my son should be the king not ramachandra ramachandra happens to be the son of kausalya the elder queen so maharaj dasrath agreed and called to raf call for ramachandra my dear boy your his mother she asked the also that she was very diplomatic she wanted that ramachandra go to the forest for 14 years the idea was political that the king may agree to inst- install my son just now now after a few days this ramachandra may come with his army and there may be some difficulty to continue the kingdom so she wanted that ramachandra should go to the forest very diplomatic way of thinking because all those were given by the uh, maid servant and she should not come and he should not come back till the end of the 14 years from this day so maharaj dasrath agreed because he was chatriya just see the uh, the promise how the chatriya promise a chatriya never goes back from the promise never refuse any challenge if a chatriya is challenged by somebody that i want to fight with you oh he cannot refuse this is chatriya spirit he cannot say that i am now busy suppose somebody comes to you that i want to fight with you you may say what nonsense right i have no time we are in the temple but a chatriya cannot deny that <laughs> so a chatriya at once must accept oh yes come on and the weapon should be if he has no sword or weapon he should be supplied weapon and fight this is chatriya spirit they were highly charitable and chivalrous and keeping promise that this is great tendency for ruling over they sell rule over administration their businesses chatriyas businesses administration ruling they are uh, and give the protections to the ruling means what to give the protection to the citizens not like a two days days rule ruling means to uh, exploiting the whole uh, citizens it was not like that to give the protection and have is the properly step follow the dharma rules and regulations so there are different prescriptions for different classes of men for their livelihood a brahmanas they can pull on their livelihood by six ways पठन पाठन यजन याजन दान प्रति ग्रह सिक्स एंड दे मस्ट बी क्वालिफाइड विथ ट्वेल्व हाई क्वालिटीज सो गिविंग द चैरिटी 
accepting the charity reading the scriptures and also giving the teaching the scriptures and giving the sacrifice and offering the sacrifice means that is the duty of the brahmanas we have many times discussed out of that qualification truthfulness is the first satyata item of a brahmana a kshatriya may speak lie that is allowed because he has to be diplomat politician but a brahmana oh he is not allowed to speak lie this is the system caste system or varnashram system everyone was trained because they these four classes of men are required in the society for proper upkeep of society one class of men must be very intelligent highly qualified with good qualities they must be trained in that way ideal character so that people can see and follow them therefore brahmanas were taken to so much respect because they are ideal character learned and godly N- knows the science of science spiritual science therefore they are held in highly estimation and top most of the society the next the administrator administrative class kshatriya they are trained how to kill the kshatriyas were allowed to hunt in the forest to learn the art of killing because that was necessity for the kshatriya kshatriya if he if the king if he find someone is doing wrong he can immediately chop off his head if he likes the ch- king was so powerful and it is not that if there was some war it is not that the president or the king shall sit down comfortably at home an ordinary soldier will go and lay down their lives no it was not like that no formally the king or the head of the state he should first of all go there in the fight you see in the picture the chief men of the fighting in the kurukshetra before sides they were arrayed this side that side with their chariot so i have the bhagavad gita poster but i don't have the army there but i'm looking if i can find it. but you can guess it and imagine it how it was looking i don't have here to picture you um not that the head man the chief man or the commander is taken shelter back side protecting himself and poor soldiers are thrown into the fighting no there were kshatriya spread and it is necessary that a class of men should be trained up in that way kshatriya fighting men in india because this training was there since a very long time so there is no difficulty in recruiting soldiers there there is a class of men they are very much forward in fighting still 
they are called and just like the gurukula uh, sorry just like the gorkhas and nepalis you have heard the name of nepal still a small state independent state they are not within india between china and india the whole nepal population they are chatriya oh they are very good fighter that's why they are known as gorkha similarly the sikhs the jats there are classes so they are always forward for fighting and you will be surprised that the british empire was voluntarily liquidated because they lost india the britishers they understood that because we are now losing india there is no more possibility to keep your eastern empire therefore they liquidated why actually the whole british empire were being administered or managed by indian soldiers and uh, these sikhas or gorkhas they extended their empire after taking their position in with india they extended british empire in the middle east and far east simply by these sikhs and gurkha soldiers they got supremacy on the burma and everywhere burma means myanmar so there is necessity of a class fighting men you are fighting in your country difficulty you are finding in your country difficulty in recruiting because the recruiting process is wrong they are recruiting from person you are training persons just like sudras and you want them to fight how they can fight it is not possible so as it is stated in the bhagavad gita the chatur varnam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasa bhagavad gita 413 lord krishna said the four classes are orders of the society brahmanas kshatriyas vaishya shudra is planned by me according to work and quality so they are divided according to work and quality so this kshatriya qualities men is also required the brahmana quality of men is also required the mercantile community vaishya they also required and the labor class labor class means sudras they are also required of course laborer class they do not required any training laborer class means one who cannot do anything neither because brahmanas nor because kshatriya nor become vaishya that means the last balance the balance of the population means useless in other words we all are that class of men they are called liberal class sudras means one so who has no training sudra has no sanskara sanskara means training everything is accepted as the sudra by birth janma jayate sudra janma means the birth by birth everyone is sudra born as a sudra a fourth class man it is to be accepted and actually so just like a child innocent child what does he know he has to be trained either you train him as a brahmana or train him as a kshatriya or train him as vaishya or otherwise 
he is sudra already born sudra sudra are no train has no training everyone the basic principle basic for um ground for ground everyone it is accepted sudra now if you train him as a brahman they then he become a brahman if you train him as a kshatriya then he become kshatriya if you train him as a vaishya so i think this is this system is very scientific so that if you want help of a really intelligent man or god realized man it is necess it is ready the brahmana class just like if you required the help of a liar we have to go so many liar so if you required the help of medical men because there are a trained men similarly the society required of requires to train a certain class of men to become brahmanas just like we are training the chhatra uh, krishna consciousness the krishna consciousness is meant for the brahmanas they are not meant for fighting because they are not being trained for fighting sri prabhupad is giving the purpose of the society they have been trained for becoming brahmana who is brahmana brahma janati iti brahmana the four division are described like this janma jayate sudra everyone is born sudra that is accepted sanskarad behave sanskarad bhaved dvij now if you train him never mind in which family he is born you have to train him just like boys are sent to school for being trained so everyone is accepted as sudra but you now train him he goes to the guru griha guru griha means teacher's home formally for being trained there was no such big scales uh, school and colleges every village still 50 years before in india it means 100 years before uh, because this lecture was given almost 55 years before i was not born that time so in every village there was a small school conducted by the brahmana and the village children would be trained up there so he was sent for training and there was no school fees the boys will go there and on behalf of the teacher or spiritual master they will go brahmachari door to door and beg and bring the fourth arm rice dal grain and everything that was the system there was no school fee i have seen this kind of stuff there was no problem now to send a boy to the school sanskara now he is trained up the teacher seems the psychology of the boy in ways way he should be trained either he should be trained as a vaishya or he should be trained as a kshatriya so every one was trained like that according to their psychophysical nature but generally the son of the kshatriya just like maharaj ramachandra or arjuna from the very beginning they were trained as kshatriya naturally if somebody is the son of the a medical man his father trains him to become a medical man 
in future that is the natural tendency if the boy is different altogether that is another question but naturally that is the tendency so a chhatriya son was trained as chhatriya a brahmana son was trained as the brahmana as and a vaishya sons were trained as vaishya and sudra had no training no gradual uh, gradually this so gradually this becomes a caste system brahmanas so sons become brahmana because formally the training was there but when it is vitiated although a person born in the family of brahmana he is doing the work of a sudra so according to vedic scriptures one is classified according to his work and quality not by birth that is the classification of shastra just like it in the bhagavad gita the lord says chatur varnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasa bhagavad gita 413 guna means quality and karma means work one must be qualified for the work and he must actually work he is counted classified into that it means so uh, to say category just like if you are simply trained or educated as a lawyer and if you are not accepting in if you are not participating in court nobody comes to you to consult as a lawyer nobody cares for you you must be particip particip practicing also similarly to become a brahmana means first of all he must know what is brahmana he must know what is brahmana and he must be actually situated in the activities of brahmana so devotional service are activities of brahmana activities in krishna consciousness means activities in brahmana brahme charati iti brahma brahmachari charati means acts actually he acts in life applies the principles of brahmana in his life he is called brahmachari and there were the training so just see how the training was that is a chhatriya cannot refuse his promise so maharaj dasrath he fulfilled the promise of his youngest wife and asked his son eldest son ramachandra my dear boy you will have to go to forest for 14 years that is the desire of your youngest mother and i promise that i shall fulfill her promise oh uh, re request so please accept ramachandra said yes father i am ready just see this is the quality out of the six opulences of god this is one quality that is the renunciation vairagya vishnu puran it is mentioned what are the six uh, opulences aishwarya samagraya viryaya means having all strength yasa yah sriya gyan vairagyo sachaiva sannam sannam bhagam iti gana vishnu puran 
पॉइंट फोर्टी सेवन लेट मी रीड अगेन आई शुड ट्राई ऐश्वर्य समर्गर्ष्य वीर यश श्रीय ज्ञान वैराग्योश्च भागम इति घन नव वन बिकम गॉड गॉड इज नॉट मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय वोट लाइक टू डेज पॉलिटिक्सियन हैज बीन मीन प्रेसिडेंट आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर आल दोज पीपल आर हाउ अपॉइंटेड बाय द वोट सो दैट्स व्हाट सिल पोपा दी सेइंग दैट गॉड इज नॉट मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय वोट देयर दी देयर आर अ डेफिनेशन हु इज गॉड God must be the proprietor of all richest. He is the richest. Aswarya, samagrasya. Samagra means all. Nobody can compete with him. Here in this world, in this world, material world. A, I am rich man, and there is another rich man who cannot compete with me. There is another rich man who can compete with me, but nobody can compete with God in riches. So he is the highest richest person. That is one quality of God. Nobody can say that I am richer than God. You can say I am richer than Ford or Rockefeller or this or that. You can say, but nobody can say that I am richest, richer than God. Therefore, in the Brahm Bhagavad Gita, it is said, "Mattah paratharam nayat." नान्यात असी अस्ति किंचित धनंजय मत परतर नान्यात अस्ति किंचित धनंजय मत परतर नान्यात किंचित अस्ति धनंजय भगवदगीता सेवन पॉइंट सेवन धनंजय इट इज द नेम ऑफ अर्जुन एंड कृष्णा सेज दैट माय डियर अर्जुन देयर इज नो बॉडी ग्रेटर देन मी so if anyone claims that he is god he must prove by practical example that nobody is richer than him that is the first but unfortunately we are accepting so many gods the rascals in the street he also claims that i am god <laughs> so similarly the other qualifications nobody can be stronger than god nobody can be wiser than god nobody can be more beautiful than god and nobody can be more renouncer than god so here ramachandra lord ramachandra exhibit the qualities how he renounced the whole kingdom simply on the order of his father his obedience to father he could have argue with his father my dear father you simply for keeping your promise and acquired by the dictation of a woman you are doing this let us stop it every one is expecting that tomorrow my coronation will be there and they love me so much because he was very dear to everyone just like krishna was so much loved similarly lord ramachandra was the life of people that lord ramachandra has very unique quality that's why he is known as maryada purushottam 
भगवान श्री राम सो दे वेयर वेरी मच एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट रामचंद्र वॉज गोइंग टू बी इन थ्रोन टू मारो सो हाउ दे वेयर सेलिब्रेटिंग हाउ दे वेयर डेकोरेटिंग द होल सिटी एवरी थिंग ही नेवर आर गुड ही एक्सेप्टेड इमीडिएटली यस फादर आई एम रेडी so then one of the brother lachman he also requested ramachandra my dear brother you also take me i am your constant companion i must go with you so he said that your wish voluntarily if you want to come you can come with me then sita his wife youngest young wife siva also said i will go with you ramachandra requested his wife oh you cannot go with me it is very difficult you are a king's daughter and you are brought up in so nice way and you are so beautiful you cannot go you cannot take the trouble of living in the forest so she said oh i am your wife married wife so i must go even if you go to hell this is ideal wife she could have refused oh your father has ordered to go to forest you can go i shall go to my father's house or i shall remain here no this is ideal wife she must be prepare to accept any circumstances of the husband not that when the husband is rich the wife is very faithful and when he has come down to be poor or he is going to forest the wife give up his company no wife means better half she must abide just like it is said just like a said follow the reality similarly the wife is the shadow of the husband whenever the husband goes she must go whatever the husband want she must carry out of course in this country this interpretation is taken differently <laughs> that wife is made a slave but actually it is not when sita was kidnapped in the jungle ramachandra expected that she was beautiful she was young and she shall be in open jungle it may be some demons may come and actually it so happened so for sita lord ramachandra mas scared the whole family of ravana only for sita so as the husband so the wife the wife was so faithful that she could not remain alone she must accompany the husband even in the forest and the husband was so faithful that oh my wife has been kidnapped so he must scare the whole family of ramana so there are ideal history how ramachandra lord ramachandra appeared on this whole world to educate or to place ideal example of a king how the king should be therefore when there is a good government the example is given ram rajya ram rajya it is the kingdom of lord ram because everyone was happy everyone there was so many instances in the life of ramachandra one brahmana 
नॉट ब्राह्मण है एग्जैक्टली सम सम बॉडी केम टू रामचंद्र बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम देयर वॉज नो कोर्ट लाइक दिस दैट यू हैव टू गो टू ए कोर्ट एंड अप्लाई विथ स्टाम फी देन यू योर जजमेंट विल बी डिलीवर्ड आफ्टर सिक्स ईयर्स दिस इज द करेंट सोसाइटी इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट एनी वन हु हैज गॉट सम कंप्लेन्स ही सुड द किंग यूज टू सिट इन द ओपन ऑडियंस एंड द सिटीजन्स वेयर एलाउड टू अप्रोच द किंग एंड प्लेस दिस कंप्लेन्स बिकॉज देयर वॉज नॉट कंप्लेन प्रैक्टिकली सो देयर वॉज नो कंप्लेन इन राम राज्य एवरी वन वॉज हैप्पी एवरी माइनर कम कंप्लेन्स वेरी माइनर कंप्लेन्स सो somebody came to ramachandra and he charged ramachandra my dear king king my son has died how it wa it how is that in the presence of his father son can die that kind of circumstances came there must be something wrong in your government that was the राम राज्य सो इट मीन्स इफ एनी थिंग इज गोइंग समथिंग इज रॉन्ग इज गोइंग ऑन इट वॉज किंग्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड किंग्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हैज टू बी रूल किंगडम वेरी नाइसली सो दैट होल किंगडम कैन फ्लरिस माई डियर किंग माई सन हैज डाई and how i is that in the presence of his father son can die there must be something wrong in your government he is directly blaming to lord ramachandra just see the charge in why my son has died before my death this is unnatural so there was nothing un natural the king was responsible even for severe cold severe heat that we get from history of shrimad bhagavatam that is stated so the king were so much responsible they were always thinking of the happiness of the citizen and the citizen were also so nice one citizen approached lord ramachandra and his next assistant and his brother lachman informed him that he is a brahmana you were absent on your tour for i think for a fourth night or a month and this brahmana has not eaten even a drop of water during your absence why because he comes here to see you darshan just like we come here in the temple to see the deities so lord ramachandra was present personally so he used to come after seeing lord ramachandra offering his obeisances then he would go home and take something his breakfast that was his vows so that brahmana has taken the vow and because he could not see for a fourth night or a month lord ramachandra because he was out on a political tour he did not eat even just see the citizens were similar to the king so at that time there was a statue of lord ramachandra which was being worshiped in the family from maharaj ichwaku maharaj ichwaku the son of manu happens to be the forefather of the family in which lord ramachandra appeared so he was 
devotee of Lord Rama and he was worshipping the statue of Lord Rama means Archivigraha. So that statue was being worshipped by the family one after another but when La Ramachandra was actually present he kept that statue in the closet of the room and when this Brahmana approached the Ram, Ram and Ramachandra was informed by Lachman that he is so steady and strong in his vow so R Ramachandra ordered that he may be delivered that statue so that in my absence he can offer respect to the statue and do with this that form I mean to say statue or arch of Ramachandra is still existing in South India and is being worshipped from that time. So I think Sri Rangam. So these were the del dealing of Ramachandra. Then he, his young, younger brother Lachmana and his wife went to the forest and his wife was kidnapped by the diplomacy of demon Ramana and there was fight between Rama and Ravana. Ravana was very materialistically, he was very strong but the thing is for fighting with Ravana Ramachandra did not come back to his kingdom and take his army. No, he did not come back because he was ordered to live in a forest. So he organized army with the jungle animals, the monkeys. The monkeys, he fought with Ramana and organized materialistic materialist with the monkeys you have seen the picture and he constructed a bridge between India's last point of the other side Ceylon is considered to be the kingdom of Ramana Sri Lanka so there was a bridge and the stone were floating. So there were so many historical incidences in the life of Ramachandra and we should remember because if we remember why we are observing today fasting for Ramachandra, there were many kings like Ramachandra because the kings were trained in that way. Maharaj Yudhishthir was also as good as Ramachandra and Maharaj Parichit was as good. There were so many such kings but we are not concerned because he was a king. He is the king of all kings, Parameshwara because he is God. Therefore, we are observing today Rama di Murti Sukalani Amena Tishtan Brahma Samhita 539. So he is not original form of God. The original form of God is Krishna and Krishna expand himself in various other forms Advaitam Achyutam Anadim Ananta Rupam Brahma Samhita 5.33 Ananta Rupam means millions and millions. The Manu is also incarnation of Krishna. So in one day of Brahma, there are 14 Manu. So Brahma lives for 100 years. Just see how many incarnations of Manu are there even for one Brahma and there are innumerable Brahmas also. 
So as stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam that nobody can count how many incarnations are there, but some of the chief incarnations are mentioned. And Lord Ramachandra is one of them. So Lord Ramachandra, he killed Ramana and he installed his brother. His brother was devotee, Vivishan. So he did not go to conquer Ceylon because he was emperor. He went to punish that culprit, Ramana, and he installed his younger brother Vibhishan in that and he came back with Sita and again he was in installed after 14 years and his brother was so faithful that so long his illest brother was away Ramachandra requested him that your mother wants that you should be king and I also wish that in my absence, you should be king. Bharat, he was so faithful, brother. He replied, no, you are king. So long you are living, nobody can be king. So I cannot be king. Then he requested, at least you administer. Because after the departure of Lord Ramachandra, Maharaj Dasrath died out of the shock because Ramachandra was very pet son, eldest son. He was going to be king and by his order he was sent to the forest. The father could not tolerate the shock, he died. So Ramachandra's life, God's activities, pastime, if we hear that means we are associating with Ramachandra. There is no difference between his form, his name, his pastime and his himself, his abode. Therefore, either you chant the holy name of Ram or you see the statue of Ram or you talk of his pastime, transcendental pastime, everything that means you are associating with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So we take advantage of these days when the incarnation of God appears or disappears and we try to associate with him by his association we become purified. Our process is purification. Krishna conscious means simply we are purifying our consciousness. From the birth, as I have explained, everyone is Sudra. Sudra means one who laments. That is called a Sudra. For a slight loss or a slight inconvenience, one who laments he is called Sudra and Brahmana means one who tolerates. A Sudra has no toleration. So Kalau Sudra Sambhava. Kalau means this is, is called Kali. So it is the statement of the Sastra that in the is this is the whole population is Sudra and formally also. By this birth, everything, everyone was considered Sudra, but there was training Sansakara. At the present moment, there is no Sansakara. There is no training. The training is only for earning livelihood, no other training. How one can earn money and enjoy senses? That is the training at the present moment, but actually of to make successful the human form of the mission of human life, the Vedic culture is very nice. And very and by spreading Krishna consciousness, by adopting the process of Krishna consciousness, you can revive that cultural life sublime life 
if no not wholesome wholesale if there is a few people trained up in this line and they become ideal example to the society immense benefit can be derived from their example of life what a time sri prabhupada is asking and then he is requesting for the kirtan so this lecture was given on sri ramanavami day march 27 1969 appearance of lord ramachandra and he has given this lecture so lord ram chandra ki jai shri ram navami ki jai hari krishna shri la prabhupad ki jai gaur pe manandi hari hari and if you like then you can um subscribe the channel and you can request to others so that other can get the benefit hari krishna shri la prabhupad ki jai